What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. My name is Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 account, channel, account, whatever you call it. Well anyway, today I'm going to do a little bit something different. I haven't done anything like this yet. I keep seeing uh, spirit pictures and, and some of these rover pictures that have these anomalies in the air on Mars. Which of course, if these rovers are on Mars, they shouldn't have anomalies in them. So, as always, you're looking at a NASA picture. I'll put the, the under the description you will be able to click on it you don't have to sit here and try and look at it but I do ask flip it to HD right now it should have 1080 if your uh, internet can hold up with it and let's go download this picture it's a spirit navigation camera saw 010 and we are looking at the left navigation camera and I want you to download the full image which I have already done so so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize this and I'm on Apple so you see it's it's on an Apple here I've got my normal software and I'm going to bring up my simple editing software there now right off the back I see these anomalies in the air there's one up here one up here and one here now I've checked the other three or four frames in front and behind of this and there are no anomalies and there's actually one down there too um, these just could very well be missing pixels but the reason I don't think they are mixing pixels is because when you get up close to them the actual image itself affects the pixelation around it so let me actually let me pull up my I've got one of these pads that I can move this around much easier okay let's look, first look at the first biggest one here let me uh, change the exposure a little bit maybe bring out the contrast Oop. Let's see if we can't make it really stand out so now usually when a, there are pixels that come in when they're dead or they don't come through see how we've got one two three four five pixels just to, from here on over usually it'll be in a line because when it sends data these crafts send data it sends it in a stream and each packet is picked up they're in a linear fashion so when it's reconstructed it's reconstructed much easier on your screen it doesn't have to go randomly throughout so if you check that out that's an interesting one it almost looks like it's in motion there's a lot of blur around it let me pull out a little bit and what's interesting again there's another one down here and it looks to have disturbed pixelation around it as well as this dot here and up at the top fading out of it that's very odd it's very let me actually reset this and see if I can't yeah that's very strange that it has that that pixelation around the white so that's another little anomaly up there um, this is very white in the black and white so that would be pretty pretty dull of a picture that's not from that anomaly but I would say that uh, who knows I don't know if that would be something that happened on the the way in but nonetheless it's an interesting photo just so you can see it a little better let me change the contrast a little bit a lot of these pictures are always so dark especially the ones of uh, Martian let's see I don't see any anomalies look real quick let me see if there's any anomalies in it well there's these two weird circles right here that are sitting just kinda there and this rock is interesting there looks like there's two humps on it let me push that up a little bit more anywhere you look on Mars there's a uh, anomalous looking object. Ooh, actually that out there looks kind of anomalous too, that rock. But anyway, <laughs> I could do this forever. Much love guys. Hit subscribe. I'll be back with you. Those are the UFOs cruising around Mars or their pixelation. Who knows? You tell me. Comment below what you think. Take it easy and have a good night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are.